To help predict space weather, many Sentinel satellites watch the sun closely. Iris is one of them. It watches our star in ultraviolet wavelengths and is able to give us warnings of extreme space weather events approaching Earth. This space weather has a direct influence on our ionosphere. Another tool to watch both the solar weather and Earth's weather together is about to go into operation, replacing its aging predecessor. GOESR is a next generation weather satellite with the latest in technology. It will be five times faster, advanced resolution cameras giving greater coverage for hurricane tracking real-time mapping of lightning, and improved solar flare monitoring. Almost by accident, the Fermi X-ray telescope in Earth's orbit discovered another source of gamma-ray particles coming from Earth. Under just the right conditions, lightning storms fire off some of the highest energy light naturally found on Earth. Terrestrial gamma ray flashes, or TGFs. Rising and falling snow and ice particles repeatedly collide, filling the cloud with electrical charge. Once the electric field is strong enough, a current flows and a lightning flash occurs. The flash produces an abrupt reconfiguration of the electric field. In some cases, a surge of electrons rushes towards the upper part of the storm at speeds nearly as fast as light. When deflected by air molecules, these accelerated electrons give off gamma rays, producing a TGF. Data from NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope suggests more than a thousand TGFs occur each day all over the globe. Tropical storms far from land tend to generate less frequent lightning. Nevertheless, observations show they are surprisingly prolific producers of TGFs. Tropical Storm Manuel made landfall just shy of hurricane strength. As it rapidly weakened, it produced two TGFs within 24 hours. More typically, TGFs are associated with the strengthening phase of a storm. As Typhoon Bolavin rapidly developed in 2012, thunderstorms nearly 500 miles from its center launched a TGF with four distinct pulses. So far, the record holder for TGS is the rapidly strengthening tropical wave that later gave birth to Hurricane Julio. It produced four TGFs within 100 minutes. A fifth followed the next day with nothing further. For stronger storms like hurricanes and typhoons, TGFs are more common in the outer rain bands which host the highest lightning flash rates in these storms. The findings provide new insights into the relationship between storm intensity, lightning frequency and TGFs. This adds another important piece to the puzzle of our understanding of TGFs and how they are created in thunderstorms the most powerful natural particle accelerators on planet Earth.
ultimately the science that we learn from Golden Icon will help us be able to predict the near-Earth environment that affects affects our our communication and navigation signals and and uh, capability, but also how space weather affects the upper atmosphere, which can translate to effects on the ground in terms of our power systems and and our our navigation systems down below.